Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, um, I am testing out yet another pouring medium for the blooms technique. Um, I can't help myself. <laughs> I like to see what happens. Um, as you know, uh, in my prior videos, I like to use the Dutch Boy. And lately I've been using the Glidden. Um, and I've been curious about this next one I'm going to show you for quite some time. I see other people use it and are successful. And I thought, well, let's give it a try so that I know if it's successful for me or not. Um, and that way I can share it with you. Uh, this is the Bear Premium Plus uh, Interior Exterior High Gloss Enamel in the Deep Base, the 8300. They have it in both quart and um, the gallon size at Home Depot. Um, and I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> may have confused some of you but um it's all about choices too you know maybe one works for you maybe one doesn't work for you so I'm just trying to throw out options there but I also really just like to test um but I want to show you the consistencies too um the bear I've found is very thick all right let me put you I'm gonna put you down here for a second so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the bear. It's almost like um, pudding or tapioca. It's super thick. Um, and then the Dutch boy, which is found at Menards, and I know that that's not all over the place. Um, if you can find it, it's, let's see if you can see in there, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, really. Um, I do have to say that the bear dries, um, a little bit, I don't want to say clear because they're, they both dry clear. I just feel like the bear, um, the colors are a bit more vivid. I was shocked myself and, and I noticed people commenting, wow, the, the colors are so vivid. They are. <laughs> and I think I attribute it to this bear. Now, because it's so thick and I've used it on its own, um, with the Josonia. Um, and that seems to be the best varnish. Um, I've tried it with the Minwax and it, it works, but I'm just trying to uh, look for the best for me. So um, the Josonia seemed to, to perform much better with this, but it is gonna be thicker. Um, and I mixed this, if you're gonna use this alone, I mixed it two to one, so two parts of this to one part of the Josonia. Now, <laughs> for what this video is about, because it's so thick, I actually mixed it with this Glidden Semi-Gloss, the Base 3. Let me open this and I'll... Whoops. <laughs> there goes that cap. Let me just show you how different it is. Um, it's a lot thinner and it also has kind of a um, it doesn't look like tapioca it has more, I think it has a little bit of titanium white in it um, it's a lot thinner so it is going to thin out uh, whatever you put it into if you're putting into something thicker so what I like to do for my uh, this pouring medium that I've been testing is I'll take the the bare uh, deep base. I'll take two parts of this, one part of the Glidden, and then one part of the Josonia gloss varnish. And that is what uh, today's video is going to be about. Uh, the painting that I'm going to be doing will be that pouring medium. Uh, the pillow I'll be using is the um, Oh, what is it I use? The Pittsburgh Ultra. Uh, I interchange a lot between the, let me, there I am. <laughs> I interchange between the uh, Pittsburgh Ultra satin or eggshell. Um, it's just what I have. I like them both equally. Um, and then also the Glidden Premium, the Red Can, uh, the eggshell, uh, and the base one, the Pure White. I really like both of those. Um, I did buy a gallon of the Glidden, the Glidden Premium eggshell recently, and it was very bubbly, and I do not have them shake it at the counter because you don't want bubbles. 
Um, but I stirred it up, let it rest for at least a week and it was still super bubbly. I was like, okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't do this. So I went back and got another gallon and I let it sit for a few days and it's perfectly fine. So it, you, it just happens, I guess. Um, but to me, the Glidden and the Pittsburgh Ultra are interchangeable. Um, so you might see me use one or the other and, and it, it really doesn't matter. I feel like they work really well with all the pouring mediums that um, I've shown you in, in my videos. So, all right. <laughs> Having said all of that, let's get started with the painting for the day.
and I'm back. I'm going to show you the dried results of the, um, the video you just saw. So this is how that Bare Glidden Pouring Medium dried. As you can see, it's got a nice sheen to it. It's almost like you don't need to um, resin it if you don't if you don't want to. Or I'm sorry, well, resin or varnish, you can just leave it as is. But it held up really nicely. The cells held with minimal shifting. I always still tend to get some amount of shifting right in the very middle. And I think that's my part, my the blowing aspect. I kind of overblow at times with the with the straw and then it sticks and I it just kind of but at any rate this is how it dried and it's absolutely stunning I love this piece so much so you'll probably see me using this uh, pouring medium a little bit more uh, in future videos as well as my other ones um, I I almost like having pouring mediums, different pouring mediums for different effects. So um, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.